Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling all across the Lone Star State, going to great restaurants you won't want to miss. Get ready for a look inside the kitchen at a popular San Antonio brunch spot. Brulee, French toast, brioche bread. This looks incredible. Cheers to you. Plus. We travel to Fredericksburg for traditional German cuisine. And you even have a letter in the back from Lady Bird Johnson. She used to actually visit this Miss restaurant her. as well, right? Yes, we're very grateful, Miss Lady Bird. And we stop at a newly reopened iconic restaurant in Holotis for outstanding Mexican food. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. Our first stop on today's show is at a food truck serving up some of the crunchiest fried chicken in the Alamo City. We have a few other spices, so we have a hot and then a hot hot. Yeah. And it's just basically upon request, but we always kind of give the regular unless anybody asks otherwise. If you want to get crazy, you, you want to get, get crazy, crazy. We can do it. <laughs> we can do it. Born out of a childhood love of some good old fried chicken, crispy fried chicken isn't afraid to spice it up to your liking. You go spicy, go crazy. Go spicy, live your life. Joining us now is the owner and cook out here at the food truck. This is Chris Bosman. Thank you so much for having us, brother. Thanks, man. Talk to me about the concept. How did it all get started? About a year ago, my wife and I had been trying to open up a bunch of different restaurants multiple times. And the last one we got super close on. So I started frying chicken for about a year in the front yard because she was tired of smelling the fried chicken in the house. Fried chicken, though, is that something that, you know, a grandmother, an aunt, an uncle, grandpa, who was doing it? No. So when we moved to San Antonio in 96, we would go to churches every Friday. I fell in love with fried chicken then. That was like my little thing. I, we would eat it every single Friday, the honey bang biscuits or the honey butter biscuits is what they had. So we kind of dove in, tried to figure out the best way to do what we want to do. and. and this is what we got. You got side items. I want to start with the broccoli. What's going on with this one? My wife and I were actually on a diet. We were cleansing our uh, our stomachs, and all I could eat was vegetables. And so I was working in the truck one day, and I was literally eating a raw head of broccoli, and I was like, I'm tired of this. I dipped it in the oil and uh, created crispy broccoli and crispy cauliflower. Probably not something that you could clean yourself with. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I, I had gone at least a good two days, you know, and, hey. and I did what I had to. So That's the broccoli. Come on. Here, what's going the, on with this dish? Crazy Mac, Crazy Mac. I had an employee said, I don't want to touch my food, so we created this dish. <laughs> and then we have these little crispers on top. We call them Crispies, Crispy Crispers. Cheers, Cheers Mike. Cheers. Oh. My Give food. some love. It's my food and I still love it. And on this tray, you actually have fried chicken, not yes. just the chicken tenders. This is the real deal, plus Correct. you got the biscuits on there. Correct. So I dip it in a, basically a wet mix, and so what we do is it kind of gives it a bit, of, bit more of like almost like a funnel cake shell, more of a crunchy, crispy outside to it. Wow. wow. This is one of the best chicken fried bites you can get in the city Ooh. of San Antonio. If you love fried chicken, you got to come try it. I don't want to put it down. I kind of want to just keep eating it. I that's really, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's the show. <laughs> This one right here, it looks like a honey biscuit. Honey butter biscuit, we call it a honey bang biscuit. So like I said, we went to churches every Friday when we first moved here, and I just try to recreate the, yeah, yeah. So, thanks, man. Thanks, man. This is delicious. Thanks, man. Man, you put gravy on that? Give me some eggs, baby, we're going in. All right, now when you want to go for a sandwich, you have four options right yes. here in front of us. Talk to me about each one. The one on the backside is going to be uh, our reggae man. If you want something a little bit sweet, we have the rajabra. If you want to start spicing it up, we have these really, really cool habanero pickled onions. And then our newest sandwich is the kimchi bangin'. So Ooh. we have the soy bang bang sauce, and then we do a house uh, kimchi. Look how beautiful that is. Cheers, Cheers to you. This is the reggae man, that's the rajabra, that's the bite. Crispy fried chicken food truck. You gotta come out to Big Hops. If you love fried chicken, this is one of the best spots you gotta come to in San Antonio to come try this chicken. It'll blow your mind. Go spicy, go crazy. Go spicy, live your life. I'm going back in on that chicken. Get some. I don't even know which one was mine, but I- It don't I'm matter, we're friends now. Yeah. We're friends now. To make these Shiner Masala Meat Skewers, get your steak and chicken thighs, cut them up into cubes, put them in a bowl with 16 ounces of Greek yogurt, six ounces of Shiner Light Beer, two tablespoons of masala seasoning, turmeric, salt, pepper, paprika, and red chili flakes, all equally portioned. Let them sit overnight, pull them out, cut up a red onion and some mushrooms, 
oil and season them in a bowl and then stack up your skewers, put them on a hot grill, let them get nice and toasty on the outside. And once they developed a nice char, move them to the other side of the grill off the heat and let them finish cooking. Add some pitas to the grill, cover them in lemon juice, serve them up with fresh parsley, tzatziki sauce, cut up those pita slices and make sure you're washing it down with an ice cold shiner pita. Now, we're heading out to Southtown in San Antonio to check out an upscale brunch spot serving up a variety of sweet and savory dishes. And then right here, this is like a little bit of everything going on. You got, I see sausage, bacon, eggs. You got a little bit of toast. That's some of the, the hash brown kind Correct. of like uh, tater tots you have in the front. And it looks like avocado on the side. Is that like some kind of relish there in the front as well? It is, yeah. So this was our version of like a full English breakfast, like San Antonio style, so. <laughs> yeah. Efren operated Scratch Sandwich Company Laredo for 10 years before deciding to bring his own take on brunch and a little more to San Antonio. I want to talk about what's going on here, because this looks absolutely insane. Yeah. What is this this cube of goodness? What is that? that that's our showstopper. So that is the uh, creme brulee French toast. So we were trying to figure out a way to kind of keep incorporating dessert with brunch. Mm -hmm. So this is our house made brioche. We soak that in our creme brulee dredge. You know, fry that up really nice on the griddle. Brulee the top, toasted with our you know. House made crumble again, and then the creme anglaise is poured on top, which is usually that base of the creme brulee. So it's it's gonna hug you from the inside. That's what that is. All <laughs> That's right. Great. So I'm gonna be a gentleman. I'm gonna cut you off a piece first. Appreciate that. And look at that. So tender, super soft. Brulee French toast, yes, brioche bread. This looks incredible. Cheers to you. Cheers. That's the bite. <laughs> One of the best French toast bites I've ever had. Now this one right here, this looks very brunchy. So Correct. Like, so like a chicken and, and, and waffle. It's, it's our play off of a chicken and waffle, exactly. So um, you know, still going on that French pastry side, we're like, we've got all this croissant dough, let's use it. So we took that croissant dough and we throw it in our, you know, griddle for waffles, and that's our base. So it's a croffle. <sighs> Fried chicken, and it's uh, Chef John's uh, you know, grandma's recipe for his chicken batter, so it's pretty great. You also have cocktails, you have a full bar over here, Correct. so when you're relaxing either in the indoor area, the outdoor area over here, you can go grab a drink. You also have lattes over here, you have cappuccinos, espressos, you got it all. Everything out here is just rocking, but now it's time to go into the kitchen and we're gonna watch a dish get made from start to finish. Which dish we're gonna make? Uh, I think we're gonna start with the creme brulee French toast since that's the uh, house winner. Well, let's go, I'm ready, brother. Okay, I got my drink right here, I got my cappuccino. Let's go make some food. Awesome. Now we're in the kitchen. All right, Efren, so what's the first thing you do to make the French toast creme brulee? So we gotta get that you know, creme brulee dredge soaked into the bread. So we're gonna go ahead and dunk that really quickly here. Okay. You wanna make sure not to soak the bread too long in the cream, or it might crumble when you take it to the fryer. All right, now it's off the flat top, ready to be plated. What's the first thing you do? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna give you this house blush syrup. You're gonna okay. just dust that right now on top. And then we're gonna use this turbinado sugar. That looks really nice. And then we get it all the little crevices, right? Next, the berry compote is laid out. The French toast is placed on top and you can't go wrong with some berries soaked in bourbon syrup on your plate. Then of course the powdered sugar and you top it off with your desired amount of creme anglaise. Watch, it is a great spot here in Southtown in San Antonio. Fantastic place to come out here, grab a drink, cool down, sit inside, sit outside, grab some of this delicious food that's out here. Yeah. All right, cheers. cheers to you. That's the bite. Wow, this is definitely the dish you gotta try. Wow. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we see what's cooking up at a tucked away Italian joint in SA. And next on the show, we're headed up to downtown Austin for some upscale Mexican cuisine at ATX Cocina. Texas Eats is coming right back after the break. We're headed up to downtown Austin for some upscale Mexican cuisine at ATX Cocina. ATX Cocina focuses on coastal and interior Mexican cuisine with dishes crafted around fresh masa that is made daily using in-house ground corn. 
Chef de cuisine Ali McMillan grew up in a Mexican household and was inspired to cook by her grandmother. This is my culture. This is my home. So uh, growing up in a Hispanic household, you're exposed to a lot of different things. I mean, my family was more northern. So you saw a lot more of enfrijoladas and the enchiladas, and we've definitely taken a lot of influences from a lot of our culinary journeys through. So I mean, you're gonna have some platings that are definitely more French in style. You're gonna have some things that nod toward Thai, but still at the end of the day, Mexico is just a big melting pot and all of these cultures melt together beautifully. And talking about a melting pot, you got a little pot of cheese over here <laughs> yeah. that's been melting over here. And this thing is just ooey gooey goodness. Our fundido is going to be handcrafted. We are actually blending our own cheeses. So we're using queso menonita and and queso quesadilla to get you that nice stringy pull that everybody's used to that ubiquitous pull. But we are layering in our own smoked briskets and our short rib and our salsa serranos. And moving over right here, this is red snapper. That is Gulf red snapper. So this is going to be based off of a tapache. So we're making our own tapache out of our pineapple skins. And then we're adding in some nice mango and lemongrass to give it some brightness. We're tossing it with a charred pineapple pico de gallo and some avocado crema, which is gonna have some nice coriander. So it should just balance everything out with that sweetness. This one right here too, a very colorful dish. And this is your own play on this one as well, right? Yeah, so in frijoladas. So instead of just the beans, we made a mole out of it. So we have a black bean mole Ooh. that's gonna kind of slather over our tlacoyo, which is gonna be filled with poblano and ricotta. We have a broken pea salsa on there and a charred lemon crema. So these are going to be our pork chuletas or pork tomahawks. They are gonna be charred on the broiler. They are brushed with our marita butter. So again, you're gonna have lovely brown butter that's been infused with achiote, marita chilies, a little bit of ginger. So you get all of these flavors that just kind of finish out that charred, beautiful meat. This is incredible. Now this one's really cute. I like what you've done here. <laughs> I mean, who hasn't had a sope? I mean, right. they're fantastic. We add potato into our masa so they're a little fluffier. And then we do our own refritos on the bottom. You're gonna have pork belly that's cooked in a peeb style. Oh my goodness. Y'all, that's the bite. That's the one. This is gonna blow your mind. So this is gonna be our quail milanesa. So our quails are gonna be lovely bandera quails that are gonna be dusted with some pork chicharron. And then on the side, we're going to have our buttered chamoy. I mean, everything's rocking out here. <laughs> now, we're gonna go into the kitchen. You're gonna show us how to make a dish from start to finish. Which dish are you gonna make for us? So we are going to do our carne asada. I'm sad to say that we have to say goodbye to all this food, but don't worry, I'm gonna take a couple more bites of all this. Thank you so much though, let's go make Thank some you. food. First thing we do, we're gonna go ahead and season our meat. So you're gonna start with salt and pepper. We'll go ahead and lay him right here and we're gonna get him started. Okay. So we're gonna come down to our fryer. And then straight into the fryer. Yes. Beautiful yeah. sound. We're gonna turn the steak real quick. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I'll just take that right now. So let's go ahead and pick up those onions real quick. Okay, yes chef. He's feeling nice and nice and pretty. Okay, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and salt bay all the pecans. Do you wanna cut the steak? I would like to cut the steak. This is going to be a sharp white cheddar queso. Ooh. That's just gonna bring the whole plate together. So then we're gonna put our fried onions just kind of right here. That looks fantastic. It's a beautiful plate. You guys, ATX Cocina in Austin. Can't miss, everything on here is a hit. Cheers, Cheers. to you. That's the vibe. That's like really fancy ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what, I take that. If it reminds you of anything special, I'll take that every day. Next on Texas Eats, we head to New Braunfels for a popular German restaurant serving crispy schnitzel and noodles. Texas Eats is coming right back after the break. Now we're here at Jordan Ford and joining us right now is Mark Cross. And Mark, we were just talking about what you do and what I do is actually pretty similar, right? We were, David. It's, it's really your restaurants. Your restaurants give the customer choice. We believe in giving our customers choice. We give them a choice of hybrid technology and a big F-150, and we give them a choice of an EV, and we give them a choice of a gasoline engine. We also believe in our option plan, which gives a choice of a customer of low payments. They're always in equity. They have options at the end of the term. It gives our customer choice, and those are the things we believe in. And to get more information about the option plan out here at Jordan Ford, just go to the website, www.jordanford.com. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now, we're in New Braunfels in Central Texas at the Alpine Haas to see how they prepare their popular entree, the schnitzel. Oh go. my gosh, that's beautiful. Absolutely. You know what you're doing over here.
Welcome back to Texas Eats. Joining us now is Jay Leeper, the chef out here at the Alpine House in New Braunfels. Thank you so much for having us in the kitchen. Glad you're here. Now, right in front of us, you guys have already prepared some of the most popular dishes you have here at the restaurant. And it's just ringing off the hook out here, y'all. So you're just going to be here in phones while we're doing this. You also have two desserts right here as well. Can you talk to me about each dish and the desserts that you have here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll start here with the traditional Wiener Schnitzel. Uh, it's got lemon. It's a lightly breaded cutlet. We have a potato salad, German style, served warm. We have one of our specialties right here. It's a rinder rouladen, rolled beef with pickle, mustard, salt, pepper. Dumplings right next to it. They're kind of like mashed potato, if you will, with some egg kind of bind them. The sauce that's on there, I mean, this is like a nice, deep, rich colored sauce here. What's yeah, that? It's the uh, actual sauce from the cooking drippings from the rollout itself. So we turn that into a pan gravy, serve that with it. So a little, a little reduction sauce on top. That looks fantastic. This one in the front here, what's uh, going on with that one? This is the uh, Rom Schnitzel. This is a sour cream gravy. We use the same pan gravy from the Rolada to kind of make this sauce with uh, some sour cream. We'll be making that today. We got a spetzel on the side, which is a traditional German noodle made every day in house. Now, out of all of these ones, which one's like the popular one? Which one's the one to get? Uh, probably the uh, Rom Schnitzel by far. Um, it's the most unique, has a good flavor profile. And these recipes are actually, they're pretty old, right? Yeah, the owner's mother actually brought them over from you know, there's a generational thing where she actually passed them down to him, he now passes them down to us, and we all make them like he wants us to do every single day. What's the first thing we do to make this dish? Okay, first thing we're gonna do is get that gravy started. Okay. So if you wanna get that saute pan with the sour cream, we're gonna come over here and okay. actually grab a ladle and a half worth of that, put it into that pan for me. All right, so this is what you were talking about, some of the, that pan, like some of that drippings, right? Yes, sir. I said, uh, put me to work, and you know what? They are putting me to work today. We're doing it, all right. We got our uh, pork cutlet right here. And you've already breaded it. What do you bread it with? Uh, it's uh, flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs. So I'll tell you what, this is gonna take a couple minutes here to get cooking. We're gonna start going. We're gonna get ready to flip it. I'm gonna make sure my sauce doesn't burn over here, and we'll check back in in a second. All right, so now you see some bubbling on the outside. What do you look for before you flip it? You want about that in half an inch of uh, liquid kind of soaking up some of that breadcrumb that'll give you an indication it's good to flip it so if you want to go, we're gonna go for it yeah do the honors me all right here we go there you oh go oh my gosh that's beautiful absolutely you know what you're doing over here so everything is scratch made here made to order so when you come into dine you know that all the food is super fresh and that's really important especially when you're trying some of this traditional german cuisine all right, so we're gonna take this plate right here and we're okay. gonna get our spitzel on the one half of it. All right, so these noodles, they've been boiled and they're made fresh as well. And they got a little crispiness to them. You guys, Alpine Haas address on the screen. It is a great spot to stop in for dinner. Plus get dessert. It just looks delicious. And look how fork tender that is. You don't even need a knife. All right, cheers to you, sir. All right, that's the bite. Don't go anywhere. There's more Texas Eats coming up right after the break. Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling all across the Lone Star State going to great restaurants you won't want to miss. We travel to Fredericksburg for traditional German cuisine. The Jaeger schnitzel has the base of the schnitzel cutlet. Plus, we stop at a newly reopened iconic restaurant in Holotis for outstanding Mexican food. And we see what's cooking up at a tucked away Italian joint in SA. What? Ow! That's a flavor oh. bomb. You didn't prepare me for that one. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. Now we're here in Fredericksburg to check out a restaurant that got the cover burger on Texas Monthly Magazine. Plus they're serving up some amazing bites and they got live music. Let's go see what's on the menu at Alamo Springs Cafe.
Joining us now is the owner out here at the restaurant, Brian O'Neill. Thank you so much for having us, brother. Thanks for coming. Now, right in front of us, you guys brought out the hits. I mean, you got some plated dishes. You got some of these basket items that are just like the craveable ones. Yes. But talk to me about Alamo Springs Cafe. How did this get started? We'll be open 19 years this May, next to Old Tunnel State Park. Uh, we have three million neighbors. They're all free tail bats. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Um, <laughs> they live in the old train tunnel. They're here for six, seven months a year. They go back to Mexico, and then they come back here. Every Everybody's season. here to see Absolutely. the bats, and then you're like, oh, by the way, there's also an amazing restaurant that's just right down the road from the state park. You'd be surprised how many people just wander in thinking we are the park, or like, <laughs> what is this place? And then they eat, and we make new friends. In front of us here, you did bring out some of the more uh, popular items on the menu, yes. including you have catfish, you yes. have the fried pickles, you yes. have onions. And now this one in front of us on the dish, talk to me about what's going on here. So you got chicken fried steak here. We do this every Sunday morning. It's kind of our day after special. So you've got homemade mashed potatoes, fried green tomatoes, those are the secret weapon, two slices of Texas toast. Everything there is made here in the house. You have a lot of fried items out here on display, but your, your fried onions, your onion rings, this is like the one that people want to get, right? Absolutely. We're really well known for these onion rings. They've been written up as much as the burger, as much as everything else. You didn't just get a ride up. You got the cover of That's Texas right. Monthly. That's right. Top 50 best burgers in the state. That's right. And what was that moment like for you? The number one burger, didn't get the cover. We were the number three burger. And we you, got the cover. And you got and the cover. So, so he can be number one. We're happy being number three. This is not the cover burger, but you do have a burger option out. It looks like a pimento cheeseburger. This is something that we put on about a year and a half ago, which quite frankly sells as much as cover burger. It's pimento cheese, jalapenos, uh, a couple of big pieces of bacon on a sourdough bun. And then right here, you also have like a Cuban sandwich kind of deal going on. Talk to me about this one. This is a Friday special as well. It's Virginia ham. We get roast pork. We brine it in-house and roast it in-house. These are French uh, buns and Swiss cheese and then pickles and yellow mustard. It's just a classic Cubana sandwich. You got a little bit of everything out here for everyone. Yep. The fried catfish out here as well. Of course, an ice cold shiner to go down. And then you got this little cup here. What's inside the cup? Bourbon and Dr. Pepper. All right, so we're going to go in the kitchen. Yeah. You're going to make an item for us from start to finish. What Absolutely. are you making? Uh, we're going to do the cover burger. You're going to do the cover burger. All Absolutely. right, so we get to try yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're number three. We're, we're number, number three. three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring the drinks with us. Come on, let's, let's go, go make a burger. Let's go. All right, now we're in the kitchen. Ryan, you're going to be making for us the Texas Monthly Cover Burger. What's yes, the sir. first thing you do to make this burger? Well, you got to get this burger on the grill. All right, so we've got that burger. She's just about home. Talk to me about the patty real quick. How big are these patties? They're a half pound, 80-20 fine grind. Same meat for almost 20 years. We know how you like your burger. You're going to help me out by pulling those fries up. OK. Hook it to the side. There we go. There you go, that way. All okay. right, I'm already working now. OK. Yeah, work it, man. Work yeah. it. OK, <laughs> you're not getting paid, though. Yeah. Um, so we're going to take this burger. We're going to put it over here. Then my good friend Max got to set us up. OK. Pepper Jack. We're going to put that right there for right now that lid right on top of that burger. I'm gonna dome it up. Dome it up. Right over here, we have some sauteed grilled onions. We have green peppers over here. Oh, you're not playing games. You got no, it all no, set no, no, up. No. That's yep, a lot of onions, yep, that's yep. a lot of peppers. Well, you're a big man. <laughs> yeah. You're a big man, you need big burger. That's all right. right. All we need to do is just get a little of that cheese on there. Okay. Melted. All and right, then, this is a jalapeno yeah. cheddar bun. Lettuce, tomato, avocado, pepper jack cheese. I just like that some of the oil from the burger is just dripping on it as you were talking. Oh, yeah, 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 come on, that's goodness. All right, then now. Here, I'll hold this for you. You hold that, all right. We're gonna put these onions. We're gonna get these green chilies. We're gonna get some jalapenos on there. And the last piece to the puzzle is gonna be yours, my friend. We're gonna take this, get it on there, kind of flatten it down, and someone's gotta hold it together. Check this out, y'all. Here we go. Texas flag. Texas flag on the top. Boom. Brian, thank you so much for having us out here. Oh man, come on. Alamo Springs Cafe, you guys gotta come check them out. I mean, you come out to the state park, enjoy yourself, get some great food, come get the Texas Monthly Cover Burger, all the great food. I mean, you got the catfish, you have all the fried items on the side. This is where it's at. I gotta take a bite of this bad boy. Oh, come on now, let's go. We're going in, so I gotta take these You're gloves off. Yeah. All right, y'all, that's the bite. Wow. I'm proud of you. Good, Good job. Club. This is fantastic. It has to be one of the best burgers that I've ever had. You ready? Yeah. We're number, number three. three. We're, We're number, number three. three. We're number one. Yeah, you're number, number one. one. <laughs>
Feel up those New Year's workouts with Celsius. Stop by Circle K and get the new exclusive flavor, Sparkling Raspberry Peach. Get the same great Celsius available in a new flavor only at Circle K. And they have a great deal for you. Buy two, get one free on all flavors. Plus, when you're at Circle K, you can grab a Polar Pop, a Froster, or an iced coffee one a day for only $9.99 a month. It is a fantastic deal. Stop in now at Circle K until March 5th. Buy two, get one free on all Celsius flavors, and you have to try the new exclusive flavor, Raspberry Peach. Oh, wow. Cheers. Now we're in Holotus to go inside of a newly reopened Mexican restaurant. Let's see what's on the menu at the Grey Moss Inn. Now we're at the outside dining area and right in front of us, y'all really just blew me away. I mean, everything just looks so delicious. Talk to me about this dish here on the far left, the Milanesa. What makes it special? You said this is one of your favorite dishes, right? Yeah, I have to admit that is one of my favorite <laughs> dishes. Every, I think every cuisine has some form of Milanesa, um, and ours is, uh, um, th this is a Milanesa, and it's what's special about it is that we make it with filet mignon, mm. whereas traditionally it's made with sirloin steak, but the filet mignon uh, makes it obviously more tender. Oh yeah, I mean, you have the potatoes on there, the rice, the beans, a little bit of lime on there as well. Now if you're feeling extra hungry, body out of the plate. Yes, that's a uh, traditional fajitas, uh, so right here we have chicken and beef, and uh, of course it comes with rice, and you can't have fajitas without borracho beans. Put your fork with me. Let's okay, dive in. Because one of my favorite things to try is always the rice and beans, right? And you yeah. kind of get to build that base mm -hmm. of flavor. So I'm going to do a little bit of both. Here, cheers okay. to you. Cheers. Here cheers. we go. All right, the rice and beans. Ooh. And now the rice, very fluffy, super tender. And then the beans come in, nice and salty. But they have that perfect balance in there as well, where it's almost hitting you with a little bit of sweet. But they're both super fresh and it's a beautiful combination. You could just get the two of those and you're doing fine. All right, yeah, cheers. cheers. This is the beef fajita and the serrano. Here we go. Mm. So tender, so much flavor. Now, I mean, the seasoning process cooked on the fire, you know there's just a ton of all that juiciness that gets locked in and you can really taste it when you're taking a bite. And that pepper's pretty hot. Woo, that'll wake you up. You don't even need caffeine. Just eat a serrano right there. Now on this table, because it's not just one table, y'all, you have the queso flameado. Yes. And a beautiful chorizo in there, the flavor, the cheese, everything melted and melded together. And you pull up on it, and you get that beautiful cheese pull. I mean, how popular is that one? Very, very popular. From what I understand, guests love it because we have plenty of chorizo, homemade chorizo, and uh, you know, with that queso, it's it's just really, really good. And of course, with homemade tortillas. I was gonna say, if you also you have the corn and you have the flour, homemade, yes. and that's a huge indicator that y'all know what you're doing in here. <laughs> you gotta have good tortillas. You I mean, do. You know? Enchiladas, and you also have ribeye tacos. If you had to pick one of these that you would try right right now, what would you go for? I'd definitely go for the ribeye tacos. Ooh! You have the fresh tortillas on the inside. The ribeye meat is just grilled right there. And then you have avocado, cilantro, cheese on there. And another serrano. And, uh, yay, they're, they're calling you. <laughs> I tell you what, I don't think you can go wrong with any of the food out here. And the new menu, congratulations. I think it all is just stellar. I mean, you guys are doing such a great job. We were in the kitchen and I really, it takes a lot for us to really be like wowed. We've seen so many kitchens. They're doing a fantastic job out here. And I think the execution and the, the attention to detail that y'all are putting into everything as well, you could see the love. So Mary, it's all good. Your <laughs> restaurant's being taken care of. You don't have to scare anybody. And I think if you come out here, you see a ghost as a part of the experience, but bring the whole family, dive into all the different plates. You're going to love everything. Grab a cocktail. You even have spooky cocktails out here. Oh, well, cheers to you. Okay, here we you go. You guys, the Grey Moss Inn, new menu. This is where it's at. Come get a little spooky tails, eat some great food, or just relax with the whole family. All right, and that's Thank the tacos. You. All right. <laughs> Outstanding. Oh my goodness. Next on Texas Eats, we see what's cooking up at a tucked away Italian joint in SA. Texas Eats is coming right back after the break.
Texas Eats. Now, we're going to go grab some bites at a Tuscan Italian-inspired restaurant serving up some fantastic menu options. Let's go inside Tre Trattoria. Joining us now is executive sous chef Chris Ortiz. Chris, thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming out. Now, you brought out the hits off the menu. We're talking desserts, appetizers, entrees, pizzas. We even have some cocktails, a glass of wine out here, which I'm super excited about. And you have some different dishes here that I'm gonna start with in the front. This looks gorgeous. What's going on with this entree? So that is our, our signature gnocchi dish. Um, it has pancetta, dates, pan-seared gnocchi, a little bit of radicchio, finished off with our gorgonzola sauce, chives, walnuts, and um, orange zest. All right, chef, cheers. Cheers. All right, gnocchi, that's the bite. All right. So that is our deviled eggs. They're soft boiled eggs, and then it has QP mail on top of the egg. Then we put a little bit of truffle oil topped off with shaved Parmesan and salt and pepper. What? Ow. That's a flavor oh. bomb. You didn't prepare me for that one. That's like the ultimate egg bite I've ever had. My favorite bite, man, so far here at the restaurant. That is top tier. This gotta be a crowd favorite, right? Popular dishes as well. It is um, the burrata. We have basil oil on the bottom uh, with our pear mustarda. On top we have the uh, blood orange gastrique, um, candied pepitas, the burrata, salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and then our garlic toast. Look how beautiful that is on the inside. Super, super shareable dish. I mean, this is where it's at. You got pizzas, man. And talk to me about each one and what's going on. So this one right here is our Bianca pie, and it has shredded mozzarella, smoked pancetta, jalapenos, julienne red onions, and then a little bit of a lemon ricotta as well. This one is our tomato sobrasada, and it has pepperoncinis, red pepper flakes, and parsley on top, finished off. And then last but not least over here. goat cheese pie that has balsamic glaze, cipollini onions, goat cheese crumble, shredded mozz, and then a little bit of finished off with saba and uh, toasted pistachios. And you have two desserts in front of us. Talk about each one. Uh, first, we'll start off with our Nutella cake, uh, Nutella ganache, and then uh, Nutella chantilly. This is our lemon ricotta cake with our blueberry jam. It has berries on side, which is blueberry, raspberry, blackberries, topped off with our nougat, a little bit of powdered sugar, and our vanilla chantilly as well. Now we're gonna go into the kitchen. You're gonna cook a dish for us from start to finish. What are you gonna cook for us today? Uh, we'll start off with the uh, radiatory. Woo, okay, so we're gonna make it fresh. Cheers to you, chef. Let's go Cheers. make some pasta. And I got my Nutella. So first thing we do is uh, we grab our pan that's uh, in our oven at 500 degrees. It keeps our pans hot so that way we have, we're kind of a step ahead of the process you know, sure. to get started. So once we get our pan out, we'll get our uh, butter. We'll let it brown. We'll toss these onions in. We'll let them saute, sweat a little bit. After about a minute or so, we'll toss in our roasted cauliflower. What's the next step after the cauliflower? We'll go ahead and season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Then okay. we'll add a little um, charred lemon. Then we'll go ahead and drop in our radiatory, which is our fresh made pasta. All right, chef, so now the pasta is ready out of the water. We're gonna throw it right into the pan, right? Okay. And then we'll get our smoked gouda sauce. You can't forget about it. You gotta mix it in. Trey Trattoria, you guys, gorgeous restaurant located right on the Riverwalk here at the San Antonio Museum of Art. You come out here, bring the whole family, walk around the grounds. It's absolutely spectacular. Plus, the menu on here is going to blow you away. This one right here, the smoked Gouda Radiatory. Cheers to you. Mm. This is where it's at. Next on Texas Eats, we travel to Fredericksburg for traditional German cuisine. Don't go anywhere. Texas Eats is coming right back after the break. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Fredericksburg to go inside of a restaurant that's operating out of historical landmark that's been serving traditional German cuisine for more than 30 years. Let's see what's on the menu at Der Lindenbaum. Joining us now is Abigail Rivera. She is the head cashier during the lunch shift here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us. And you have brought out all the hits out here on the menu. You even have a dinner item, some lunch items, dessert, a salad, and of course, ice cold Shiner beer. But talk to me about the restaurant itself. How long has it been here? So we've been in business for over 30 years wow. with the original owner. Her name is Ingrid Homan. She started when Fredericksburg was a small, humble little German town. It's definitely grown in the last couple years. 
So we've just been able to embody the classic German platters throughout the years, while also keeping some traditional, different various parts from her traditional region of Germany. I want to talk about this particular dish in front of us. Yes. So the Jaeger schnitzel has the base of the schnitzel cutlet. Ours is not the traditional veal. It is pork breaded, prepared the same. It's topped with the brown gravy that includes the cloves, different bay leaves, lots of flavor in there. Just something that is unlike any other plate that tons of people come from all over America just to have this specific platter. If anything has changed in Fredericksburg, it's definitely not this recipe here. That's super cool. So people travel from all over the place and you even have a letter in the back from Lady Bird Johnson. She used to actually visit this yes, restaurant sir. as well, right? Yes, we were very grateful. Miss Lady Bird, as we used to say, she was <laughs> just always down here bringing her family and different people from her high society to come down to Fredericksburg and join us for lunch sometime. That's so cool. Well, we're going to dive in. We got to try. I mean, this is a world class dish right here. Cheers <laughs> to you. The Jaeger schnitzel, that's the bite. Great texture on there. The mushrooms are super tender. It has a slight sweetness to it as well. And it just has that kind of comfort feel to it that, you know, especially on a cold yes. day, it happens to be cold today in it Texas. Does. We never know what the weather's <laughs> like. And it is just a great meal to relax and enjoy here in Fredericksburg. Yes. I gotta try some of the potatoes as well. Oh, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go in. They're a little savory, but sweet. Ooh. They have bacon in it, different flavors in there. What? Mm -hmm. They're good. sweet and they have that little bit of bacon in there, so it's a little mm -hmm. smoky, it's salty, it's savory. And then it has that crunch in there. So it's just this really beautiful, well-rounded bite. So we have those three various sausages that we get locally from our meat distributor called Opa's Sausage. So they have the smoked Polish, which is the beef with the curated uh, peppers in it, bratwurst, which is veal and pork mixture, and a knockwurst, which is a pork sausage right there. And then you have our homemade sauerkraut and the German potato salad over here as well. And our Dusseldorf mustard on the side. Come on. That's a little bit of everything it right is. there. It is. It's the perfect sampler set plate. Cheers to you. The Polish dog. I like mine with a little German mustard on it. I messed up? Here, I'll put some in there too. Oh yeah. The casing has a great snap, nice pepper flavor in there, but that beef flavor really shines through as well. Ma'am, that's really nice. The brat, you have to pour some curry sauce on top of it as well, which you have on the side. That is the perfect blend. And then the last sausage as well. I mean, so many different options. I already took a bite out of that one. Oh, it was so good, right? <laughs> so good. <laughs> One is the goulash platter. So that is on Gerisha goulash. So it has the beef tip, stew ends, a little spicy to flavor, onions, bell peppers mixed in with our herb noodles set with Italian dressing and our red cabbage on the side too. Oh wow, the spice on that one's really nice. Mm -hmm. So different than everything mm -hmm. else. So different. Abigail, thank you so much for having us here at Lindenbaum in Fredericksburg. If you want to get a taste of traditional German cuisine, and especially if you're looking for great desserts, you have to stop in. I mean, over 30 years of history in here. I'm yeah. going in for this one. I'm going to go for this one. All right. Mm, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information and a map on all the restaurants that you've seen on today's show, just go to our website, TexasEatsTV.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Texas Eats TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock at night right here on KSAT 12, because this is how Texas eats. Shiner has sent me on a mission to travel all across the Lone Star State pairing great food with ice cold Shiner beer. Join me every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning on KSAT 12 for great recipes and delicious restaurants. Shiner, the official beer of Texas Eats. Hungry for more Texas Eats? 
Be the first to check out our exclusive content by searching Texas Eats on YouTube. Plus, get notifications when we upload new content by subscribing to our channel. We're showcasing the best bites from across the Lone Star State, including burgers, pizza, barbecue, and tacos. Search for Texas Eats, subscribe to our channel, and watch Texas Eats anytime on YouTube.